Konnichiwa, miyasan. Watashi wa Julian des, and today I'm going to be getting my makeup done by Tao. Konnichiwa, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. My name is Tao.、Um, I am a makeup artist and hairstylist here in Wichita, Kansas, and today I will be turning Julian here into Himiko Toga des. Alrighty, you ready to get started? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Close your eyes for me. Prime your lids with concealer. I recently bought all these disposable sponges and shit. Actually, I have a story behind this. Let's hear it. So, I got hired to do a wedding、oh. a while ago. How was it? Um. Well, I didn't even actually end up doing it. Oh. And I didn't know that I wasn't doing it until like two nights before.、Um, so this girl hires me to do her wedding, says that she's excited to meet me, whatever. I buy a bunch of sponges and a bunch of mascara wands. I had disposable ones in the first place, right?、Mm. Because you need it as a makeup artist. Yeah,、But、absolutely. I ordered a bunch because I didn't know how many people I was actually doing because she was like, Yeah, I'm gonna need my stuff done and I might need you to do a couple extra people. I don't know. I was like, whatever, like, I'll get paid for me, so I don't care. <laughs> I get paid, I get paid. Right.、Um, but I just wanted to buy extra and make sure. So you didn't go、um, and you were like, you're prepared for it. Right. So I got super prepared for it and I texted her two nights before her wedding because she had pretty much like ghosted me for That's weird. a couple weeks. And I was like, Right, like that's weird. Like, yeah. So then I text her and she's like, oh, actually, I don't need you anymore. And I was like,、oh. well, it would have been nice to know like three weeks ago that you didn't need me anymore. Yeah. Like, that's kind of rude. It's so inconsiderate、mm -hmm. to wait until, like, what if I had just shown up? Mm hmm. And then you're just, they're just like, oh, why are you here? Right. And it would have wasted your time too, not just theirs. Right. So that really pissed me off. And、mm -hmm. I haven't talked to her since. Like, I used to work with this girl. Oh, yikes. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. At least you have like a bunch of new sponges. That's the best I could say. I mean. Right. Like, whatever, I guess. Whatever. I needed this stuff anyway, but I didn't have to buy it then. Mm hmm. Yeah, that just sucks. I'd be mad if that were me, to be honest. I would never talk to them again. For, like, <laughs> low key, maybe like once in a millennia. Right. I have learned <clears throat> since then that, like, even if they're friends, take a deposit for big events. Yeah, because you don't want to have that stuff booked up and then you have no other appointments that day. Right. Man. I can see why you were pissed, though. Yeah, it was fucking bitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I think the most frustrating thing about like going to makeup school is just like having to have friends that would be like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll come in, but are you like, are you gonna pay for it? Like, I don't know. What's up with that? You know? Like, yeah, what's up with that? You're my friend, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, you need to pay for my time. What's wrong with you? Yeah, basically. And I was, I was pretty mad about that all the time. So I think that's just part of the reason I was just like, well, whatever. I guess it's not gonna work out for me. And then I never got clients, so you know, whatever. I have dry skin and music. Or it has like, I'm more like, um, what does it say? Like, combination skin. Oh, yeah. So, like, some parts of my skin are super. Um, dry and then other parts like my nose are just super oily for no reason. Makeup is the only thing that can have any perfections. Like, it's too orange for you. I'd be like, you don't know that. And she's like, yeah, 
point too. <laughs> like I can see. Can see the color match is incorrect. <laughs> I mean, like no, it's. Was fine. she more orange than you? She's a little darker than me. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm. I'm the lightest shade of foundation in most most brands. Same. I'm pretty light skin, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's a whole thing. <laughs> like this, this is literally the lightest shade of juvia's place, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Don't work for my skin though, I'm light as hell. Right? Yeah, I know a lot of makeup artists, like, for normal looks, they'll do the eyes first. Mm -hmm. And then they'll do the face. And then the lips and everything else. But like for costume makeup, it's like backwards. Like you have to do the base That's first. how I learned it too. I learned to do the base first because there's just so much that comes with costume makeup. Right, like you're just, you just keep putting shit on your face, you know, mm -hmm. like it, it doesn't stop. I've only just recently started putting my eyeliner on after my eyeshadow because um, I was just so bad at eyeliner. So now I've just kind of learned to roll with it and suffer quietly. I mean, it keeps my eyeliner from looking like crumbly and cakey. Did your color pop ones come in? Uh, not yet. It should be soon though. You're gonna like them. I'm excited. <laughs> color pop doesn't get enough credit, honestly. Like it's affordable and mm -hmm. the stuff always works. I've never had an issue with color pop. Well, I'm excited to try it out because from what you've been saying, like if it's that good, then I might stick with it. I love color pop. I've been it's been difficult to find like an eyeliner that I really enjoy because. The one I currently use is like a tattoo one, and it's just, it's just, it's difficult to get off afterwards. Mm. It just feels like, like it's just like... Is it the Kat Von D one? Uh, no, I think it's NYX. I, I don't like NYX liners. It, they get crusty. Yeah, they, they was, it's really crusty. When you take it off, it's like, you just ripped your skin off, and you're just a newborn baby. It's, it's the worst. I get like terrible rashes around my eyes if I do that. I bet. It's yeah. so harsh on your skin. Look up for me again. First my head was like, let's go up. And I was like, no, 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 just the eyes. <laughs> I've noticed something after working in the salon for a minute, but like teenage girls, they tend to just look down. So I literally have to like yank their head up. They just think like this? Yes. That's the, like the whole thing. The whole time. And it's like every teenage girl that I've ever done. And then like with men, you tell them to look a certain direction and they'll do the opposite first. That's so strange. So I'll be like, okay, look down for me. And they'll be like, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. I know. And I'm like, oh my God, damn it. <laughs> I know you all learned your directions. But did they? <laughs> did they truly? These punches are so nice. They're from Shop Miss A. Everything on Shop Miss A is one dollar. Really? Yeah, it's like an Asian like one dollar makeup store, and I don't get a lot of like their actual like makeup makeup. Mm -hmm. But a lot of their like implements are nice because it's like a dollar and you get a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that sounds really nice though. Yeah. So man, thank you for the suggestion. I need that. <laughs> yes, it's called Shop Miss A, and like Lene, she will. She's crazy about it. She will literally get depressed and then she'll go on Shop Miss A and buy $60 worth of stuff. Me when I'm buying literally But everything. that's 60 things. Cause it's all that's a dollar. That's pretty crazy though. So she does this at like at least once a month. Okay, that's better than what I do. I mean, I get like a lot of shit that I don't need. And also Hot Topic just got their hot cash started, so I'm excited. Stop, you didn't need to tell me that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have like 40 hot cash. Around Christmas time when they were having their like winter hot cash, mm -hmm. um, I made one big purchase and then got like eight hot caches. And then of course I had to spend all of that on Christmas presents. <laughs> um, so I, I gave Hot Topic so much money. Bro, at the end of the day, like I feel like it's kind of worth it because I mean you do kind of get the money back, so yeah, I guess as long as you spend money, <laughs> right? Like you had to spend it to get it, though. Yeah, I need this discount a little bit. It's better than just like not using the hot cash at all. 
Right. If you don't use the hot cash, you're just gonna end up getting like right when it sits spending there, extra it's money. Set. Yeah, and then like yeah. eventually you'll be like, I really did want that thing though, and mm -hmm. now you have to pay full price. Yep. That's so, like, the unfortunate thing. Whatever. I guess I'll give Hot Topic my money. You know, it's whatever. They have new cute like things coming in all the time, so I can't really complain. Right. I have like 20 things coming in the mail. <laughs> and I just like one day I was like, I'm manic. Time to buy some stuff. Literally me. So a couple weeks ago, I was on TikTok and I was like, I want to start dressing. Like I told you, like I want to dress like a pirate. Yes. So, <laughs> I went on Yes Style and I bought. Like, I love two, Yes Style. Yes, I bought two hundred dollars worth of like tops, and then I went on Amazon and I bought like another two hundred dollars worth of accessories and pants. That's excessive, <laughs> but I love it. Well, I also like completely emptied my closet to make room for it, so I was like, it's. I mean, as long as you're like getting rid of things and making space for stuff. Right, I'm not better than like, I'm doing. <laughs> like I needed clothes in the first place because mm -hmm. I was wearing the same like three outfits. Out. I think I got your pants that you're wearing actually, but like the black ones. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, um, Hot Topic, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I had, to, I had to buy these like online because they didn't have any more than my size in the store. So I had to get like a size large. I got big hips. <laughs> I'm like, it's a curse. I'm a size large too. We like don't look the same though. Yeah, we <laughs> have completely different body parts. So I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Like, I just got big hips, that's all I gotta say, I just got big hips. <laughs> I mean, at least like, I could have, I could have like a big chest and that'd be like, torture for me. I, I don't suffer big titty syndrome. I am not wearing a bra right now. Well, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally never wear one. I think I'm wearing a sports bra right now, just cause it's comfortable. But I, always, I remember like always complaining when I was younger that I had to wear a bra because they're like super uncomfy. Right. But then if I didn't wear them, it would like be painful. So I was like, whatever. I never wore one. <laughs> like even like as a child, my mom would be like, go put a bra on. And I'd be like, no, like, what can you see? What do you see? What do you need me to wear a bra for? Yeah, there's literally, there's, there's nothing. I don't know what you mean. And then also like finding like the correct bra size if you have a small chest when you're younger is like, Especially when your family insists on you wearing a bra. Right. Why do girls got to do that? What's the point? What, does so the society feel better about it? Right. But you let grown men with their huge man titties <laughs> walk around in super tight shirts. Or like nothing at all. Right. <laughs> like, why like, can't you girls think do that? I'm not uncomfortable now? <laughs> Come on. I'm not body shaming, by the way. I'm joking. <laughs> you. It's just sarcasm, right? right? Sarcasm is a thing. I don't really care. Everyone should do what makes them comfortable. Yes. And I think it's perfectly fine. It's just like, why can't you apply the same thing to the other gender? Right. And you have people saying, well, then if you're so okay, then why don't you just do it? And like, because we would get um, the cops stopping us, asking us why we are shirtless. <laughs> right. Like, women get hated on for freaking breastfeeding in public. Oh, don't even get me started on breastfeeding in public when people complain about that. And it's like, you don't see nothing. That's how to get me fired up. Right. Like, you don't see nothing. They're not bothering anyone. Babies literally gotta eat. Like. Yep. <laughs> you... Are you against babies eating the food that they need? Right, like, are we supposed to let the children starve? Like, alright then. Alright, children, you heard that here, guys. So just let the children starve because men can't handle um, titties out in public. Yes, he's gonna be the biggest one aside from the Itachi that I already have. Mm -hmm. So Itachi and Bakugo are gonna be the biggest, and everyone else is gonna be like my accent characters, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be super cool. Like, let me know when that happens. That happens. Like, send me pictures. Yeah, of course. Oh, I'm excited for you. That sounds so cool. I wish I had the guts for that. Like, to find like a good artist like that. Um, 
I'm worried about getting too many tattoos before I go to Japan because I do want to be able to enter the bathhouses. I'm trying to look like a Yakuza. Like the Yakuza owned Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enter one of those. Oh, perfect. Yeah, go for it. Yes. Because it's not like they're like... I gotta figure out how to find those, though. I don't want to say that there's no crime because that's not true. But the crime rates are actually very much lower. Than right. So it's not like they're going to be a danger to you if you go to a Yakuza owned Just don't piss anybody off. Right. Good. Like, just don't look at anyone wrong. <laughs> but, like, those are pretty much the only places the only bathhouses in Japan that allow tattoos, unless you just want to like, Korea's right next door, unless you want to hang out in Korea for a bit. I mean, yeah, I mean, weekend trip. <laughs> See how that goes. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I don't, that's what I plan to do when I go to Japan. Like, I already know since I'm gonna have two full sleeves by then, mm -hmm. that there's no way I'm gonna be able to go to like a regular bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Nobody come at me if you think this is too much blush. They look great on camera. Right, but there's also no such thing as too much blush when you're doing toga. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's toga. She's like, like constantly that's her blushing. thing. That's literally her thing. She's literally constantly blushing. Don't come at me. <laughs> I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm not gonna hear you later, yeah. Okay. You're blushing. You enjoying yourself? <laughs> yes. I'm in my happy place. Cute. I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yes. I was like, I hope we're still doing this today. I'm like, we haven't really talked about it, so I'm like, maybe, maybe if I did this for them. So I was actually, I was like, Is this still good for today? And you're like, yeah. I was like, alright, bet. <laughs> yeah, I like, I'm really bad at like. Same. <laughs> Wait, is that thing? Is that just a thing you rush? Yes, that, that way I so don't cool. get any like leftover from like other looks on your face because there was definitely green on this like two seconds ago. Oh, okay. And we don't want that right now. Nope. <laughs> no green on Toga. I, this reminds me of that one TikTok where it's like, would you like to create an alliance with me? Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I made a TikTok for that actually. That's literally us right now. It's the one who dresses dark and the one who dresses pink. <laughs> That's literally what we are. <laughs> literally us right now. <laughs> pink. Black. It works. <laughs> There's always that dynamic. Is it looking how you want it to? Yes, it is. Good. <laughs> I'm like avoiding your eyeliner right now because like, I always do it last. It makes me panic, like... Eyeliner makes me panic, and I even want to do it on myself. Right, Eyeliner's like, just scary. I'm fine at eyeliner, it's just like, it makes me panic. I mm -hmm. like to not think about it until I need to. <laughs> Cotton candy. I have an obsession, I swear. <laughs> do you have any pink clothing? <sighs> nope. <laughs> You're that kind of goth. <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> like I said, literally, we are complete opposites. It's beautiful. I own a lot of pink things. Like, my switch case is pink. Uh, our switch, we don't really have a switch case. Uh, actually, our switch case is um, Legend of Zelda. And, like, all of my stuff at the salon is pink. Like, I have pink clips, pink shears. Mm-hmm. Um, I just love pink things. Pink I started is, to slowly get more pink things. It's my favorite color. I know like, we've discussed this. I don't look like I like pink, but it is my favorite color. I just don't wear it. Mm -hmm. Like I like to do my makeup pink as often as possible, like I am today. 
Yeah, I saw that and I was like, oh, it's king. We're gonna be matching. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we finished the all the makeup and the wig and the outfit, and this is the final look. Thank you so much for coming to help yeah, me out today, Tao. It was really fun. It was definitely a lot of fun, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna head out now. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Matane. Yes, give me those real smiles. Hell yeah!